Entrepreneurship, I, I work all the time, but I don't consider it like, dang, I gotta go to work. You know what I'm yeah. saying? It's like, man, I get to get up and do something today. Like, yeah. I make videos for companies like Porsche, and then I go talk to kids that look like me who come from disadvantaged circumstances. I want to do both of those things. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Is there certain things about both professions that I dislike? Yeah, like I don't always like sending emails or dumping footage, but for the most part, you know, if I get to go and make films about Porsche cars and I get to go talk to kids at a high school, sign me up every day to do, to do both, regardless of what day of the week it is. So, yeah. Yo, 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 good morning, guys. Hope everybody doing all right this morning. So um, what time is it? 4.49 a.m. Friday, June 23rd. Going to try something different today. I'm going to uh, do a little bit of a, a day in the life. I got some podcasts, uh, filmings to do, some uh, public speaking meetings, some media production meetings. So just going to go through the day today, kind of doing like a little day in the life. Uh, first thing I like to do when I wake up in the morning uh, shout out to Alice and Mosey is check my bank account. So I'm going to check my bank accounts and then I'm a slacker and I don't, uh, pre-plan out like my YouTube edits and, and scheduling and my LinkedIn posts and all that stuff. So I knock those things out first thing in the morning. One thing I do, um, you know, try to prioritize now is just, um, working on my own content first. We do so much editing for other clients and other content that I'm like, man, I got to do my own content first. Forgot what I was gonna say. Oh, um, I'm hungry, but I'd be slacking and not um, adding parts in a day to get breakfast. So definitely need to start being better about scheduling and times of the day. So I got some general emails that I need to do really quick. Just, you know, seeing I had a couple people email us overnight. Porsche was one of them. Uh, one of the people that, um, that we use as our contract editors had emailed us overnight. Um, one of the guys that we got to do some drone footage for us for a gig that we got coming up out of town next week, emailed us. So just going to kind of catch up on all of that good stuff as well so I can um, get it over to our client. So so what I'm doing now is I'm watching a, a little bit of uh, footage over a couple. I'm doing a podcast over this morning. Uh, I got some questions over here. Going to be taking notes on the questions, just really getting ready for the podcast. Um, I like to have my questions all written out here, but I'll also go through and write things down. So right now it is 547. Uh, I'm about to go uh, get the wardrobe, rocking the rocking the Balvins for the podcast interview today. So about to go on the clothes, get dressed, uh, wake up the wife. The wife wakes up about six, wake her up, make sure she's ready for her day, then head out about 637 uh, to go get set up uh, for the podcast interview. Good, but I'm documenting everything. Okay, cool. Yeah, so Hector so gonna so. be on the, on the BTS today. So shout out to Hector. Is it early? It's a little early, it's but little, it's, it's, it's a little early, but it's all right. Appreciate you, bro. You good, y'all? Mm -hmm. Hey, shout out to the Mac Miller t-shirt, though. Mm -hmm. Hey. I got, a, I got an 8 9 and I'm just gonna, uh, I'm gonna put a mic on me, and then you can just follow me around. I've been recording, like, random stuff throughout the morning or whatever. Cool. Uh, gonna head to this podcast first, come back. Got, like, three or four meetings. Then got, like, an on meeting at the end of the day. So, Sounds no good. real filmmaking stuff, but you are gonna help film the podcast, though. So, I got you. Uh, cool. Yeah. Let's see again. <laughs> For sure. The business partner's house to get uh, one more thing of equipment because I was slacking. I forgot to get it yesterday, but hey, you leave the house in enough time. Uh, ETA still say 7.30. We're supposed to be there for eight, so we get on time, so. Ugh. Cool. Cool, so I'm, I'm slacking and didn't even plan out breakfast uh, this morning for me or uh, Hector behind the camera. So I uh, got a very non-nutritious breakfast, which was some donut hoes this morning, but hey, support local businesses, so. Can you hear me? 
Yeah. Yeah, my bad. My phone started to try to FaceTime you. Hey, real quick, um, I'm over here heading to Cookie Society now. I'm I'm uh I'm interviewing both Jeff and Marissa, right? Yes. Okay, dope, dope. Yeah, I went through last night and just made some notes about like questions to ask Jeff, questions to ask Marissa. I remember that first time he mentioned like really liking the idea of having questions like pointed to each of them as opposed to just having these broader questions. So I went through and I did that, but I was just making sure that I am interviewing both of them. Yeah, let me look and see what you did. Well, I just made some notes, so it may not make any sense on there. I made some notes because I seen that he was on a TV show on Amazon Prime, so I'm gonna ask him about that, and then uh, I'm gonna ask like Jeff about the social media, but I'll ask her about the food truck because uh, I, I can. I was looking on her like social media page about uh, some of the things that she was doing and some of the things that he focused on. So that that was all. My bad, I was slacking on this one, and I guess shit. It's no, no, it's all good. It's all good. I just did, I just did some more research, uh, like I said, because I know he was on this Amazon Prime show that I thought was really dope. And then she has, I'm gonna ask her about. She got HeyMarissa.com. Um, so I think she's gonna start coaching and things like that. So I'm gonna ask her about uh, her coaching endeavors and stuff like that because I think that'll be super dope to hear about as well. But again, just trying to have questions pointed to each of them. So it's all good, bro. Like I know you, I know you be busy. Like I, I got you. I, I'll make sure I get some uh, some good questions too. I got you. And I know we were supposed to just literally text me. Um, just they'll be there around eight fifteen. Their manager is there, so you can go in and set up. Okay, yeah, my, my ETA say 747, so uh, I'll, I'll be in there okay. set up. I, I'll almost be done setting up by the time they get that 815, so we'll be knocking out pretty quickly. But all right, that's, that's, that's the bet, bro. I appreciate you. Bet. Yeah. You got it? <laughs> it's like stuck. I can try to give it a twist. I'm, I'm Mike. I'm here to interview Jeff and Marissa. Oh, right <laughs> yeah, let me yeah, try. Yeah, you can get it open. There you go. Yeah, no worries. Thank you. Awesome, awesome. Sure, sure, sure. They told me they're gonna be here by 8.15. So, we'll start loading in. All right, appreciate it. We'll do. Yeah, yeah, I actually got a compliment early. Anytime I wear them, I always get compliments, but yeah, man, got the got the J Balvin's on. I probably wear them too much, but uh, not only do they look dope, they're like mad comfortable. So uh, I wear them a lot, even though I probably shouldn't wear them that much. But yellow. Good morning. How's it going? No, you're fine. How you doing? Good to see you again. Absolutely. Good morning. How's it going? Yeah. Good to see you, man. Good to see you too. Yeah, good. Y'all came in here with the sneakers today. I'm glad I put some sneakers oh, yeah, on. Yeah. I see. I see well, y'all coming here. I seen them with the panels on. I see. I'm like, okay. Oh, I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, okay, cool, cool. I, I, I did the right thing by putting on the sneakers this yeah, morning. Been good, good. Enough. Been good. Been yeah. good. Just trying to work. Stay busy. How's it going guys? Welcome to another episode of Secrets of Silent Success. Today we have again the one and only Jeff and Marissa Allen. How are we doing this morning? Doing Good. Great. Thanks for having us. Yeah, absolutely. So I'm excited to be back. We're going to jump right into it, all right? Yeah, so just got done with the Cookie Society podcast, got some free cookies, so that's always really dope. Shout out to Jeff and Marissa. Uh, one of the things that I like to do, again, I try not to text and drive, so once I get done with a gig, podcast, or anything like that, I go through all my, my text messages, so I got about four to five unread uh, text messages, and then I'll go through all of my emails as well, man and just check and see what emails I've missed, who's emailed me, so not too bad. It's still only 9.30, so I've only missed like two emails, so I'm gonna reply to them real quick, reply to the text messages, and then uh, then I'll actually start driving, so. Uh, I got a call at 11 a.m. with uh, Big Brother Big Sisters uh, Lone Star, which is a mentoring organization uh, here in Texas, Houston, Dallas, all the time, 
and uh, I reached out to them about a teen conference, just trying to be a speaker. They said they're no longer doing the teen conference, but I still want to just connect, uh, whether that's you know mentoring opportunities or even uh, speaking opportunities. So I'm gonna talk to them at 11, then at 1.15, I'm talking to a university trio program, again, for some uh, public speaking, uh, potentially. Then at 2.30, I have uh, a call with my speaking coach. So I got some things that I wanted to talk to him about. Uh, just again, just trying to get better, continue to learn, continue to grow. And then at 3.30, I have a post-production call with uh, this docu-series that we're working on. So talking to, um, I guess the distributor would probably be the best way to label it. Talking to the distributor just about kind of the editing schedule and posting schedule, some marketing efforts, so we can get ready to release this this uh, docu series that we made of our AAU team. All throughout that is going to be emails and dumping footage and editing and all of the you know daily routines of a media entrepreneur. And then at 6:30, going to be meeting with uh, Christian Jessica, my business partners, to um, do our uh, quarter two. Uh, equity splits and and money and all that stuff so we get together and we basically just you know see what we made for the for the for the quarter and do our equity splits and all of that uh, good old fun stuff <laughs> so I'm gonna get these notes for this meeting at 11 real quick. I'm gonna go change my shirt top so I can look you know, more professional. So I'm gonna go put on like a button down real quick. And then, um, yeah, I'll jump on this meeting for, uh, I always get there a little early, 10.58. So just waiting for her to show up, but it's always nice to get there a little early. Yes, I can hear you. Hopefully the thunder in the background is not too loud. It just started coming down out of nowhere like two minutes ago. So hopefully it's dry where you are. Oh, yes it is, but... Go, cool. all right, meeting number one done. On to uh, meeting number two, 11.15. So this, well, this one was 11.15. No, this one was at 11. Next one's at... Gotta check the schedule. I don't know what's going on anymore. Uh, next one is uh, one o'clock. So now I'm gonna follow up on a couple emails and probably grab a lunch real quick. And then uh, on to the next one. But first thing I'm gonna do is clean this camera on my Mac cause I was looking blurry as crap. I was like, bruh, looked like I was on a, a freaking Android, man. In the last meeting, I didn't, I didn't look and see it had some smudges on here, so I was out here looking bad at the last meeting. But this time, I'm ready now. I'm gonna clean it up, make sure, uh, make sure I'm living right. <laughs> yeah, right. I wouldn't it. No, the last meeting wouldn't it, bro. I wouldn't it at all. But. Hey, how's it going, Lauren? I'm doing very well. All right. Well, thank you as always, Michael. Okay. No problem. Well, you have a good weekend, and we'll be talking next week. Thank you. All right. Talk to you soon. Bye. Getting sleepy over there, huh? I've talked to different trio programs. I've been to different Title I high schools. I'm sure you all are familiar with Title I, things of that nature. And I go back and try to pour into those individuals to help them succeed quicker professionally, academically, and financially, right? Which I believe is probably right in alignment with trio's message as well. What's the numbers for the equity? I knew this box and stuff was gonna be crazy and I went through there and was just trying to jot numbers down. I was uh, like, ooh, so close. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But that was, I, I have like an old green sheet. That were the old numbers. Uh, and so I was like, I, are these still kind of similar? No, not really? Okay, cool. Uh, just to try to, you know. Uh, we, got, we got white on the, on the Yeah. <laughs> He's like, well, yeah. 
Uh, flying out Monday at 1 p.m. Get to Alabama at like 2.30. And then uh, we're gonna go film for Julius' family when we get there. Yeah. Filming for them Monday. Then Tuesday is really So pulling back up at the house right now, been a successful day. Uh, lots of meetings, just got done meeting with the, the business partners about the whole quarter equity and you know all that good stuff and now about to go have dinner so yeah not not a terribly busy day i don't feel too tired i can actually go for uh a little bit longer do a little bit more stuff but it's friday so time to chill a little bit enjoy dinner with the wife and uh yeah start all over again tomorrow so appreciate it